Hello and welcome to this lesson. Here we are going to review tools and technologies that we're going to use throughout this course. Uh, first of all, we need to know JavaScript. And uh, for JavaScript, there are uh, some sections like arrow functions, deconstructing, assignments, spirit operators, classes, and stuff like this, which is very important throughout this course. So this is the first uh you know language we are going to use uh, and in term of programming language this is the only language in this course the next one is react which is a building user interface library uh, that's the topic of this course and we use many plugins and packages like react router react reveals uh, react modal and stuff like that throughout this course so uh, we will learn React in this course too. The next technology is Redux, which is a state manager for uh, React. And uh, we can create a scalable and predictable application using Redux. Next one is Node, uh, which is a backend uh, technology to create a simple endpoint for creating list of products and orders and stuff like this. Next one is MongoDB. You need to install the MongoDB from this address, mongodb.com slash download center slash community and select your version OS. And also you can select, uh, you know, the package, let's say for mine, uh, here I just select the current stable and select my OS which is uh, Mac and then click on download and you can download and follow the installation steps and we will have uh, MongoDB in your computer. Also for Node uh, there are two versions the recommended one is the LTS you know uh, it's for, it's more recommended click on it and download the installation package and follow the easiest steps uh, to have node on your computer after installing node restart your computer and open terminal and enter node dash dash version and you will see the version of your node on your computer if you get an error it means that you know you know install it in wrong way also for mongodb after downloading and installing that uh, you need to check in the terminal open a terminal and enter mongod and if you press enter you should have uh, you know a result like this which means that uh, your mongodb installed correctly that's it uh, let's go for the development tools and the most important one is a code editor. We are going to use VS Code to install it. Just click on download and you will, you know, get a list of uh, operating system that you can select based on your operating system. Here I select Mac. And when you click on it, uh, the download link will be appear here and installation start. You know, as you see here, because I've installed it already, I just cancel it. Just double click after installation and follow the steps. And at the end, you will have VS Code. If you type VS Code, you will have VS Code like this. And by opening it, you will have, you know, Visual Studio Code like this. For VS Code, you need to install some uh, extensions. And the extensions we're going to use, I just listed them right here. This five extensions is very important for us. To install it, just select here and then in type the name of it, like JavaScript ES6, click on it, and then click on install. Because I already installed it, it's on an install button. Do the same for ES7 React extension, ES Lint extension, Node Debug, and CSS Pick. That's it for configuring, you know, VS code for your, uh, you know, development throughout this course. The next one we're going to install is Google Chrome. Go to this address, google.com slash Chrome, and then click on download Chrome. 
and when you have the install file on your computer double click on it and follow the instruction of uh, installation and at the end you have this browser the google chrome and it's time to install two extensions the first one is react dev tools and the second one is redux dev tools to do that just search for react dev tools and the first result is the thing we are looking for yeah that's it react dev tools uh, you will have install button here because i've already installed it it's remove and also search for redux after installing this it's time to search for redux dev tools and here if you click the install button you will have redux on your computer to make sure that all of them install correctly just open the chrome dev tools from more tools inside their developer tools open developer tools of google chrome and you should have a redux section here a component section that show all of the components react component and the profiler by having these three items uh, it means that you have installed the google chrome extensions correctly that's it for google chrome let's go for git uh, git is a version control system and for each lesson in this course we are going to create a branch and put our code inside that branch and then push them on the github so it's very important for you to understand the basic stuff of uh, git like creating uh, you know a branch commit push and pull uh, i just keep them as simple as possible don't worry about this but you as a developer you need to know uh, the uh, git at some time and let's have uh, you know that in this course uh, the installation is very simple click on download here you know git scmcom download select your operating system and then uh, the installation file will be downloaded on your computer you know for mine i just install it through bro bro and install git just insert this command inside your terminal and by pressing enter it's gonna be installed because I've already installed it, I do not install it again. So that's the instruction for installing Git. After Git, it's time to create an account in GitHub. I'm quite sure most of you have this account, but if you do not have it, just open this URL, github.com, and then in select the username, enter your email and password, and then sign up. After that, you will have an account for GitHub like this and it's possible for you to create a new repository and put your code inside github to show your code to all other people around the world that's it for github one let's uh, go for the postman in this project uh, we are going to use postman to create new product uh, create new orders and delete them so it's very important uh, to install this just go to postman.com uh, click on download the app and after that you have the installer file in your computer and it's super simple just double click that file and follow the instruction and you will have postman in your computer about the instruction of using postman i will teach you in next lessons uh, let's go for the deployment stuff because at the end of this course we want to publish our work on uh, hiraco here is the hiraco uh, to have Hiraco, what you need to do is to open Hiraco.com, click sign up button and then enter your uh, information here and follow create free account there. After that, you will be redirected to a page like this at dashboard.hiraco.com slash apps and uh, we are ready to create a new apps in next lessons also we need to have a cloud database for mongodb uh, let's go to mongodb.com slash cloud slash atlas and then click on start free enter your information there and follow the instruction steps don't change anything in only enter your data there 
and you will have an account on mongodb.com slash cloud. Uh, we will use this account in, I guess, the last uh, session of this course to publish our work inside uh, the internet and create a cloud-based database there. Great, that's all for uh, the tools and technologies that we are gonna use in this course. I guess they are about 10 tools uh, that we are gonna use. At the end of this course, you'll be able to use them and in any developer job position, you need to know all of them, trust me. So uh, keep focus on this course and get to learn all of this stuff. I teach you all of them and I hope you get the best possible job at the end of this course.